Rick and Sam, people in the neighborhood here say they've counted five burglaries just within the last week. And tonight we spoke to the family of a woman who came home from a trip only to find that her house had been ransacked. Thieves took a massive safe and other irreplaceable items. In the early evening hours of Saturday, September 24th, two people wearing masks are seen breaking into this Rolling Hills home through the back door. Another camera in the front of the house captures what looks to be a Hyundai Santa Fe SUV back up onto the front lawn so that the thieves can load it up with valuables. They managed to get away with a 500 pound safe, a gold coin collection and other smaller items. At one point, you're able to see a third person who the family believes is the driver. This house belongs to Kate. Caitlin Martin's mom. She thought she did all the right things. She had cameras. She had all the doors locked. I mean, she had some like pretty high tech locks on a lot of the doors. And like to think that like you really had done everything right and it wasn't. <laughs> The Palos Verdes Estates Police Department says it's stepping up patrols after a string of robberies, specifically in the Valmonte area. My understanding is that this matches other ones that have been happening in the area. The trend seems to be that the burglars hit homes without an alarm system in the early evening through a back window or door. You know, you think you're you're safe and protected and somebody comes in and takes your things. It's the worst thing that could happen. Longtime resident Linda Hodges says this is unusual and pretty startling. It's motivating her to install cameras too. I've lived here for over 20 years, so this is the first time that I really a little bit uncomfortable. Caitlin Martin gave us this surveillance video hoping that someone will recognize the perpetrators or the car and call police. She doesn't want other people to go through what her mom endured. My mom's been in that house for 40 years and it just felt very violating. It just was, I mean, I even had trouble watching it. I was like, I don't even want to see it because it just was like, it makes you feel very unnerved. And police let us know that thieves may be accessing people's homes through the Boundary Trail, which borders Via La Selva and Via Solano. Of course, anyone with information is urged to give them a call. We're live in Palos Verdes tonight. I'm Rachel Menatoff, KTLA 5 News.